Well, game is over. Once again, the Oregon Ducks have beat the crap out of us. 59 to 14. Definitely not what I expected to be the final score, but it is what it is. And, um, well, not only am I disappointed of all this loss, but even more disappointed that my friend Kendall, Kendall didn't even show up for the game. First off, Kendall, where, where were you? <coughs> I'm going to talk, uh, talk with you once I see you at school on Monday. <coughs> well, um, what's, I mean, just the worldly terrible in that game, I meant, didn't look so good. I think next week against Florida, we should either start Nathan Peterman or put in one of our five star freshman quarterbacks who we got in recruiting. We should at least do something to improve our quarterback problems. <clears throat> but, anyways, our offensive line is great, and so is most of the team. But um, it was a tough game today, tough loss, and um, hope we can rebound. I'm sure we'll be. I'm, Absolutely positive will be Florida next week because I saw how bad they played against Miami t t last week, and I think that that could give Tennessee some hope in conference to beat Florida. Because I mean I think they will because enough is enough. Eight wins for you guys is enough. Eight straight years. Eight straight years. You guys have beaten us. I'm tired of this. I think it will end the streak. And we'll finally pull off an upset and finally climb to the rankings. And then all the fans who travel all over the games will run onto the field, tear up all the grass on the on the field, and tear it on the goalposts, go just like what they did 15 years ago when we beat the Florida Gators for the first time in three years or longer. But that was a big game. But anyways, um, <clears throat> the only thing that can make me happier is if I hear that McGavick won and also... If the Titans can win tomorrow against the Houston Texans, because at the, because Texans are a hard team to beat, and I'm going to be extremely mad during this whole week if the, the Titans can't win because the Vols have already lost. Now about Big Vol Daddy. Well, he predicted this to be a Vols win, which I knew was not going to happen, and along with the Oregon Ducks fans, which um, which Big Vol Daddy. I know he's probably going to have some post-game thing where he's all mad and stuff. Talking about he should have known better. Which he really should have known better. Because he should know that the Vols were going to lose to these guys. I mean, he's been talking about this is a Butch Jones team, not a Derek Dewey team. Well, guess what? Half the team is Derek Dewey's players. The other half is Butch Jones' players. But, um... But that's all that's safe for now. Go Vols. Gators, you're going down next week. And coming up next, I'll have a crow video. Alright. Bye.